All right, here's another integral. It's the integral of x squared over x minus 1 with respect to x. All right, see if you can try to do this on your own. All right, you should notice a couple things about it. The degree of the one in the numerator is higher than the one in the denominator. That's going to be very important because that's going to tell you, okay, what kind of trick am I going to use with this integral so that I can integrate it? If it was, if this was greater than this, you would have to use partial fractions. And so, since it's not, since this is greater, you're actually going to be using long division. You can use synthetic division if you want, if you remember that. So basically you want to take x minus 1 and you want to see how many times that can go into x squared. Well, put, let's put space screws in there. Alright, so x squared, x minus 1 can go into, I look at the first one, okay, that's x, then I do x times this, what's x times x minus 1? Yeah, it's going to be x squared minus x. Now, what you're going to do is you want to subtract this, it's the same thing as long division when you're doing a long division with a polynomial. Same exact steps. So you're going to subtract. So that's going to change the sign of this and it's going to change the sign of this. I have a habit of putting my signs in circles. Just remember, oh, I had this previously and I just changed it to this. So this cancels out. 0x plus x is just x. Bring down the 0. What times x minus 1 will give me the x? Right, positive 1. So you take that positive 1, it will be 1 times this. What's 1 times x minus 1? Yeah, it's just x minus 1. And again, you change the signs. All right, x minus x cancels out, and then you have zero plus one, that leaves you with a one. So the remainder is one. So with the remainder, what you do is you take the one and you put it over whatever you divided it by. So the x minus one. Now you can take this, take this right here, I'm gonna have to erase this because I don't have room. You can take this simple thing, and let me center it so it's easier to see. So you have x plus one plus 1 over x minus 1. You're going to take the integral of that with respect to x. So you take the integral of this, the x, you take the integral of 1, and you take the integral of this. The integral of x, right, use the power rule, so this is x to the first, you increase this by 1, and you put it over whatever that number is. So it will be x squared over 2. You do the same thing with the 1. The 1, it's implied it's x to the 0. So you have x to the 0, you add 1 to that, that's x over 1, which would just make it x, plus there you have dx over x, right? This function right here, when you take the derivative, it's just dx. So that means it's going to be natural log. So 
So it's the natural log of x minus 1, absolute value, plus the constant of integration. And that's it.